right. Hello, this is Bella. I'm gonna see if I can put some of the skills I learned at Toastmaster to, to the test. See if I can explain this um, clearly. So every winter, <clears throat> dogs change their coat, right? And uh, because long-haired dogs don't shed, like your boxers or bully breeds, you know, labs, because they don't shed out, we literally have to pull out their old hair for them by brushing and combing. And so this is what I got, look at this. So this took three hours. And she was, before she was just completely matted, there's balls of mats everywhere. But look, see, even with a fine tooth comb, you just go through everywhere, even the legs. And see, she was chewing here. She was chewing her legs here, where there's short hair, because, you know, do you think maybe this could have had something to do with that? You know, all of this hair, if it was still inside her skin and pores, and actually, it's not just the hair. When I comb these hairs out, when my phone was sitting here on the table, the black screen, you could see it better, all the white dander. It literally feels like, like sand, like beach, you know, grains of sand, like the beach. And some, so, <clears throat> let me start over. <clears throat> the hair is an extension of the skin. So when you, when you feel rough hair, you can pretty much guarantee that under the rough, rough hair, the skin is gonna be rough. Why is the skin rough? because all of this is jam-packed in those pores. Because those pores are jam-packed, you're gonna, when you, even when you run your fingers through it, you're gonna feel tiny little bumps, trillions of trillions of tiny bumps everywhere, because there's trillions and trillions of pores. So, <clears throat> by, by um, even if I just shaved her, I would still have to deal with all of that stuff still inside the pores. So that's why I don't shave them, um, because it's easier to, to get the hair out when it's long. So I combed them out for, and this took about three hours, but see, can you, can you imagine how easy the bath is gonna be now? Can you imagine how easy the haircut's gonna be? The haircut literally is gonna take care of itself. See, she's already got a nice shape here to her neck, to her shoulders. This literally was not here before. There's no shape to it, it was all puffy because of all of this. So whenever a vet tells my clients that it's seasonal allergies, and they just keep pumping them full of shots and medication and antibiotics and all this stuff. It really makes me question. It really makes me suspicious because does the vet not know that this is how the dog skin works every winter? You know, do they not know that? And, you know, if I went to a dentist and they recommended everything other than brushing and flossing my teeth regularly, and they, re they recommend expensive mouthwashes, expensive um, treatments, you know, implants. And then once while my real teeth are gone, they put the implants in, back to the mouthwashes, back to the medication, you know, everything other than brushing my teeth. In fact, <clears throat> what if that dentist told me brushing your teeth is actually harmful, it's abrasive, and you're rubbing off all the enamel that's protecting your teeth, and he tells you out of brushing your teeth, you know? Would you trust that dentist? I wouldn't, and that's why I don't trust the vets around here, because Maybe, maybe they're treating the clients of mine who live in upper income neighborhoods, maybe they're treating them differently and, and because they know they can afford this. Maybe the lower income areas, <clears throat> maybe they are telling the clients to brush their dogs regularly and all the skin issues will disappear. I'm not sure, but all I know is I'm seeing a trend in the past, what, three or four years I've been doing this now a lot of vets in this area are, are behaving very suspiciously. And I'm just gonna leave it at that.